Alrighty folks, Bob and Joe here. That went up a little bit. <coughs> Out here in Three Sisters in Montana. Boy, I bet it's been over 20 years since I was over here at this place. Had to have been. I vaguely even remember it. Ain't gonna swear to it, I've been here. But, uh, went in to eat, wasn't too bad. You gotta pay for parking, typical California, 10 bucks. Hopefully the company reimbursed it. Don't know, I ain't never had to pay for parking with this company. So, uh, I guess I'll find out. Uh, came back out and I was looking at some of my stuff. I don't know if y'all have uh, LiveTrucking.com. It one of them trucking media things. Several little stories in there today. The truck fell off a bridge in Iowa and no one noticed for seven hours. The guy's all right, broke his leg. Bridge. People working on the bridge on the other one, they found him. Uh, they seen the wrecked truck, turned upside down. Uh, and I go in, I read some of the comments. I, I need to really quit that because some of these want to be know it all truck drivers just aggravate Dickens out of me. But I like my beard there being a mess like that. I don't like that either. Uh, Police say multi-vehicle crash caused by trucker who ran a red light. And I go through and read these. I haven't read it to y'all. Uh, this kid, what was he, like 28? Out of Illinois. His uh, excuse for running the red light, he was hauling, what did he say, Bud or Coca-Cola? Let's see, on Tuesday in Salem Township, Pennsylvania, one person was killed in a violent collision involving a semi. Around 6 a.m., Route 22, near Lamp Lighter Restaurant in Westmoreland County. Let's see, initial reports show that the incident began when a semi-truck traveling westbound may have ran a red light. Next, a pickup truck legally drove into the intersection from Mark Drive when it was suddenly T-boned by the semi-truck. That ain't good. The semi jackknifed into the eastbound lanes. The force of the semi impact pushed the pickup at least 40 yards down the road. It came to a halt and was pinned between the semi and a concrete barrier. He was like a 67 year old man. He died. Not bad. Yeah, 67. Uh, I'm skipping a bunch of it. Where they tried rescuing the guy and couldn't, didn't do no good. He was stuck bad. Alright, here's what I'm looking for. Uh, the truck driver has been identified as a 26 year old Cruz Humberto Gomez Naives of Illinois. Now, check this out. The truck, the trucker told officers that he tried to break his truck hauling Coca-Cola products. It was just too heavy. He also informed police that the truck did not have engine brake. Gomez said he attempted to slow down at the traffic light but was unable to. He's been charged with numerous infractions including Homicide by vehicle, careless driving, driving at unsafe speed, aggravated assault by vehicle, failure to stop at a red light. There was other vehicles involved. 
uh, at one of the other trucks, or two other trucks, one of them hauling hazmat. I'm sorry, there's no excuse for it. Uh, if he was overweight, he should have weighed his wagon and went back. If he uh, too heavy to stop, that's carelessness on his part. He obviously knew he didn't have Jake brakes. You drive accordingly. Uh, that's a crying shame. The old man died. This boy's driving record, his driving career is probably over. And rightfully so. And he's going to have to deal with it. Uh, you remember I told you I drove across the panhandle yesterday and it was a little bit windy. I mentioned that in uh, one of the videos. Now, I don't know that I told you it was a panhandle, but that's where I was. Well, evidently, after I got out of there, dust storm blows through Texas panhandle, caused 13 vehicle pilot. Six of my trucks, uh, and I don't know what else. Uh, that's one where I start getting aggravated reading the comments. Dumbass, it should have stopped. You was driving too fast. First off, we don't know how fast they was driving. It doesn't say. You know? Uh, if you know that stretch of 40 across the top of Texas, there ain't a whole lot of places to stop. And you're a fool if you stop on the shoulder. So, we don't know what happened. Grant you, they should have got off the road. But them dust storms, they show up just out of nowhere once in a while. That's why they used to call them dust devils. So, you gotta be careful, folks. You young drivers out here, you need to know your truck, your equipment, your load, and your abilities. One of the biggest problems out here is drivers think they're better than they really are. Just like that kid there that caused that wreck at the red light. Uh, I used to tell my students and others that all we're doing is driving an 80,000 pound missile. And we only control it as long as it wants to let us. So, uh, and you think about that. There's so many things that can happen out of your control that will send this truck doing what it wants. Uh, my last accident, which was about three years ago, before that had been 15 plus years, I hydroplaned. Uh, wasn't really driving too fast. It was downtown Houston. Right there were 10 and 45 meet. I was on 10. It is well known for accidents there. Because it's on a bridge. It's tilted real bad. Rain comes down off that eastbound side. Comes through them little cuts underneath that concrete barrier. And just makes a stream. Well, I hit one of those. And she got a little squirrely on me. I regained control. Uh, and I wasn't. I was driving below the speed limit. Then I hit the next batch, just right up there with the next one, and I hit it. And uh, that's when I lost control. So, uh, speed really wasn't a factor. I mean, okay, I could have been doing 10, then I'd caused other wrecks, but it took control away. And I was empty. The whole point is, is you never know when this big rig's going to decide to turn around and bite you in the butt. 
And when you get to thinking that you are the almighty in control, someone's probably going to bite you. So you need to know your truck and you need to know your experience. And you need to know about that load back there, the top heavy. I used to tell people anything that was above my belt, I considered top heavy. So basically anything over one pallet high. And I've seen some one pallets get pretty damn high. So, just a word of caution, folks. Uh, and you need to, if you're new drivers out here, you need to get online and find a few decent sources. Just like that live trucking.com, OIDA. You need to get you a few of your own sources that can, uh, Keep you updated on stuff. And hopefully it won't be just the wrecks. Alright. I want a cigarette. You can't see me smoking. Love y'all. God loves you too. I'm sure I'll make more videos tonight.